after the meditation. Now, I see something in my listeners that won't let me continue this way. The ocean flows back in and puts up a foam barrier and then withdraws. After a while, it will come in again. This audience wants to hear more about the visiting Sufi and his friends in meditation. But be discerning. Don't think of this as a normal character in an ordinary story. The ecstatic meditation ended. Dishes of food were brought out. The Sufi remembered his donkey that had carried him all day. He called to the servant there. Please, go to the stable and mix the barley generously with the straw for the animal. Please. Don't worry yourself with such matters. All things have been attended to. But I want to make sure that you wet the barley first. He's an old donkey and his teeth are shaky. Why are you telling me all this? I have given the appropriate orders. But did you remove the saddle gently and put salve on the sore he has? I have served thousands of guests with these difficulties and all have gone away satisfied. Here, you are treated as family. Do not worry, enjoy yourself. But did you warm his water just a little and then add only a bit of straw to the barley? Sir, I'm ashamed for you. And please sweep the stall clean of stones and dung and scatter a little dry earth in it. For God's sake, sir, leave my business to me. And did you curry comb his back? He loves that. Sir, I'm personally responsible for all these chores. The servant turned and left at a brisk pace to join his friends in the street. The Sufi then lay down to sleep and had terrible dreams about his donkey. How it was being torn to pieces by a wolf or falling helplessly into a ditch. And his dreaming was right. His donkey was being totally neglected, weak and gasping without food or water all the night long. The servant had done nothing he, ha he said he would. There are such vicious and empty flatterers in your life. Do the careful donkey tending work. Don't trust that to anyone else. There are hypocrites who will praise you but who do not care about the health of your heart donkey. Be concentrated and leonine in the hunt for what is your true nourishment. Don't be distracted by the blandishment noises of any sort. And here Rumi stops or finishes his, his poem about meditation. I love this poem so much because here he is asking us to, to take care of our heart, to do things that nourish the heart and do the work. Continue to do that work. What do you think the donkey represents? What do you think that work represents? The work that we need to do with concentration and leonine courage. What do you do to tend to your donkey heart or your heart donkey?